Most of us have an image of Pompeii as a prosperous and sophisticated city where people enjoyed lavish banquets, beautiful art and luxurious villas. But not everyone in Pompeii had such a privileged life. In fact, many of the people who lived and worked in the city were slaves. Today, we are going to take a look at a recent discovery that shows a darker side of Pompeii, the slave quarters. Slavery was a common and accepted practice in the Roman world. Slaves came from various sources such as war captives, debtors, criminals or even children sold by their parents. Slaves had no legal rights and were considered the property of their masters. They could be bought, sold, freed or punished at their master's will. Slaves performed various tasks and roles in Roman society. Some were domestic servants who cooked, cleaned and cared for their master's household. Some were agricultural workers who tended to the crops and animals on farms and estates. Others were skilled artisans who produced goods and services for their master's business or pleasure. And some were even educated professionals who served as teachers, doctors or accountants. But how did the slaves of Pompeii live? Where did they sleep? What did they eat? How did they cope with their harsh and oppressive conditions? These are some of the questions that archaeologists have been trying to answer for decades. And now, they have found a new clue that sheds some light on these mysteries. A short walk outside the city walls, archaeologists have discovered an apartment for the slaves who used to serve the people of Pompeii. The room was found at the Civita Giuliana Villa, a large and elegant residence that belonged to a wealthy family. The villa was located about 600 meters or 2,000 feet north of the walls of Pompeii. The slave quarters were located in a separate building from the main house near the stables and the kitchen garden. The room was small and simple with two beds, one without a mattress. There were also two small cabinets, some tools and several ceramic jugs and vases. One of these vessels was found under the bed and contained the body of an unfortunate rat which probably died during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. The eruption was a catastrophic event that destroyed Pompeii and several nearby towns. The volcano spewed out tons of ash and other volcanic debris that covered everything in its path. The people who could not escape suffocated or burned to death under the hot and suffocating cloud. The eruption also preserved the city for centuries creating a unique archaeological site that allows us to see how the ancient Romans lived. The slave quarters are one of the rare examples of how the enslaved people of Pompeii lived. The researchers say that the room shows that the slaves lived in meager and unhygienic conditions. They had little space, comfort or privacy. They also had to deal with pests and diseases that could spread easily in such an environment. However, the researchers also say that they did not find any evidence of locks or chains to restrain the slaves. This suggests that the slaves were not physically abused or confined by their masters. Instead, they were controlled by social pressure and hierarchy. They had to obey their master's orders and follow their rules. They also had some privileges such as forming families or having personal belongings. The discovery of the slave quarters is a reminder that Roman life in Pompeii was not all glamour and glory. It was also a society based on inequality and exploitation. It was a society where some people enjoyed freedom and luxury while others suffered bondage and misery. Thank you for watching this episode of Discovery Future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories from the ancient world. See you next time.